Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I've been playing around with ESP32 devices here with Bluetooth and previously with LoRa and I want to do something with Wi-Fi again but I want to do something different. I want to do ESP Now. What ESP Now is all about is it lets two ESP32 devices communicate over Wi-Fi without a router. So you don't have to put in your SSID and password. The master just finds the slave, and I know those are uh, <laughs> phrases. Trust me, I've already updated the code, so I've in, in the code that I'm going to share with you, I've taken master and slave out of it entirely. But the master finds the slave and sends data to it. So these are the original example sketches, and that's here under examples. You go down to ESP32, and there's ESP now. And you can see they're named master and slave. So when we look at these sketches, first thing you want to note is to make sure that you're using the same channel on the master and the slave. Don't worry, we're going to make those phrases go away. But let's see how these run on just regular ESP32s right now. Okay, so you got two ESP32s talking to each other. One's back in my office and the other one's up in the living room. And they seem to be getting on just fine, so... That, that's pretty good, but it's really boring. There's nothing to see. Who wants to stare at a serial monitor? So let's try this out on the TTGO T-Watch. It has a display. Make sure to look for the links in the description down below where you can get the code right here at my GitHub site. So let's check out the code here. I'm going to make that go away. First up is TTGO T-Watch. So here this sketch is basically the minimum amount of code to display alphanumeric characters on the TTGO T-Watch. When you're setting the text color, make sure to set a background color so that if, if you're having text writing in the same spot, it will overwrite the previous text. But let's just step through what I did. First of all, in the master and slave sketches, I searched for master and replaced it with center, and with slave, I replaced with client. So we're all good now. Anyway, so here you can see I tucked in the include for the TTGO T-Watch and do a little TFT ESPI configuration and TTGO configuration. And let's see, further down in void setup, where is that? Yeah, further down in void setup, here's the rest of the code needed to initialize the T-Watch and fill the screen, set the font and text color. And then in void loop, I'm basically setting the cursor back to the same position to update with the repeating data that's going to appear in the lower portion of the sender screen and the lower portion of the client screen. And that way it'll maintain the initialization text at the top of the screen. Yeah, after searching and replacing master and slave with sender and client, you also have to replace all of the calls to the serial monitor because all of the data was being sent out to the serial monitor. So I had to search and replace serial dot with this TFT dash arrow for the T watch. So that's what we've done here with the sender sketch. Let's go ahead and check this out running on TTGO T watch. So you can see here. The sender is on the left and the client's on the right. What's cool about ESP now is the client actually sends a call back so the sender knows that the last packet was successfully received. Oh, you just see there the sender spontaneously rebooted. I experienced that a lot running on the T-Watch. It seems to get heated up. It might be a power issue. There may be interference from other Wi-Fi. I'm not really sure in this regard. Let's check it, this out on the TTGO T-Display. Okay, again here, and it's included in the GitHub library that I share the link to down below. I have just an example sketch. It's the minimum amount of code that you need to print something on the TTGO T display. Let's take a quick trip through the ESP Now example sketch. This is the sender sketch. Again, I searched for master and replaced it with sender. Slave replaced it with client, so we're all good. And then down below here, you can see I've stuck in the include files from the TTGO T-Display print example. 
Oh, yeah. The original sketches all were point porting out to serial. And so I searched and replaced serial dot with TFT dot. So that it, instead of going out the serial port, all the messages are displayed on the screen. And then again, under void setup, you initialize the display. That's down here. And then this is in the void loop again. We're setting the cursor to a specific position that'll update the lower portion of the screen where the initialization data is still displayed at the top of the screen of the T display. And so let's check it out. So here's the TTGO T display sender and client here on the bench. I'm firing them up and you see they're working just fine. They pair up right away and the data is getting transmitted. Let's go for a range test. My lovely wife is going to help us with the range test at the park. We're going to walk in opposite directions and see how far we get. I've made it all the way to one end of the park and she's all the way at the other end of the park at the swing set, talking with the kids. I can't even see the other side of the park from here. And I'm still getting packets successfully transmitted. I like doing range tests. Here's the results of our range test. You can see we got 1,400 feet or 427 meters on Wi-Fi with these little TT Go T displays, and that's without external antennas or anything. That's pretty cool. So again, that's a lot of fun playing with this ESP now. I don't know. I've never gotten around to it before, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway, go ahead and give this video a like. Leave a comment down below what you think about ESP now. And before you go watch more of my TT Go T display videos or more of my TT Go T watch videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.